Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a PCF8574 module that you can use to expand the output or input pins on the Arduino board. This is very useful if you have a board that does not have so many pins and you need some simple solution that is cost effective to add more pins to the board. I'm going to show you how to use it with Arduino Uno and with the ESP32 board. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. If you need a quality PCBs at competitive prices, just fill up the forum on their website and you will get PCBs delivered to you in no time. They also offer 3D printing, CNC machining and PCB assembly. The link will be in the description, so go and check them out. For this project you will need a PCF8574 module, optional to test it two 1 kilo ohm resistors, one LED and one button, breadboard, some jumper wires, Arduino board or ESP32 development board and with Uino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to Vizuino website and download and install Vizuino program. Start Vizuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. Add PCF8574 component. and connect pin I2C out to the Arduino board, pin I2C in. Now the component comes with the I2C address 56. On the module you can also set a different address in case you're using several modules and you need each one with a different I2C address. So, uh, if you don't know what the I2C address is, the simple way is to just scan the I2C addresses in Visuino. To do that just select the board and in the properties window expand I2C channels, I2C and click on the elements uh, three dots button. In the elements window drag I2C scan to the left side and close the elements window. Now add start component this component will trigger the scanning when we run Arduino. Now connect start component pin out to the scan pin of Arduino board and connect pin address to the serial pin of Arduino. Now let's upload this to Arduino board. To do that, just select the build tab and click on the compile and build upload button. Now that everything is uploaded, select serial pin, make sure that the port is correct and click connect button. We are getting the I2C address of the module. As you can see my address is different, it is 32, so I will have to change the address in the component to 32. Now I will not be needing the start component anymore, so I will delete it and also remove the scanning element. Now that my GPO component is ready, I will add pulse generator component. And simply connect the output to the first pin. And now let's upload the code and as you can see it's working, the LED is blinking 
Now let's do some other experiment. I will connect a button to the first pin and to the button I will simply turn the LED on or off. To do that I will add some components. Let's add debounce button component. and toggle flip-flop component now connect pin 1 to the button 1 pin in and connect button 1 pin out to flip-flop 1 pin clock now connect flip-flop 1, pin out to GPO 1, pin 0. As you can see we can use the pins on this module for input or output. Now if we press the button the LED should turn on and if you press it again the LED will turn off. Now if you are using some other board like ESP32, just double click on the board and select the board that you are using. I am going to use ESP32 development board and upload the code. With ESP32 development board you should press the boot button when you are uploading the project. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. This will be all for this tutorial. The next time we are going to use multiple modules with a different I2C addresses, so stay tuned.